Hi guys, happy Saturday evening, how are you? Welcome to my home studio. We're gonna have another nice jam session tonight. Uh, joining uh, in on a glass of wine with you guys. Have your cocktails ready, have a drink ready. We're gonna have fun tonight. Um, cheers, first of all. Mm. When I start jamming on the track right now, that was requested last week and um so this one and i forgot i had a list of the requests i have two requests today that i'm going to fulfill but i lost my list so forgive me if i don't remember who who requested the song but i will play them for you guys so here's the first one i was requested last week and i didn't get to. this is called two of a kind <laughs> Thank you. 
two of a kind that was and um i have um se several things coming up this coming friday if you're in southern california we gonna be where are we gonna be we're gonna be at the jazz uh, uh club in ventura it's a new club it's a, called the grape jazz club so if you're anywhere in driving distance come by it's gonna be a lot of fun claudine's gonna be with me oliver we're gonna have a blast um and so i hope you guys can make it tell some friends if you can make it yourself or bring them come all together we're gonna have a blast there so i'm looking forward to that i'm working heavily on my new record so i i, I love being able to go out in between do some shows and then back in the studio on the grind getting this next album done and it's coming along nicely and we'll talk more about it when we get closer uh, we do have a, a date for the CD release party, uh, so tickets are not over, it just came out today, so you're the first ones to know is we're going to play Spagatini's July 9th, it's going to be the CD uh, release party for the new album, so mark that in the calendar, and um, you know, cheers to that, uh, and that's going to be a big one. Uh, then, um, the other thing I have come going on in June, I'm going to be in Cincinnati. I'm going to be at the Ludlow Garage with my buddy Johnny Britt. And that's going to be a very special concert. That, uh, we're calling it Heart and Soul. If you haven't heard about what we're doing, Johnny and me doing a couple shows together uh, as Heart and Soul. And that's one of them. And, and if you don't know what this looks and sounds like... Now, this is from the new record, the song called Above the Clouds. Let's get in the mood here for a second. Daryl, give me a little uh, keyboard there. That feels good, doesn't it?
<laughs> so it's always fun to jam with a buddy so if you like this and you want to see this live and live anywhere near so cincinnati the show is june 4th i hope you can make it get tell some friends uh and uh you know let's have a blast uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that one it's gonna be ludlow's garage june 4th uh, um and um man it's gonna be a fun a fun little show uh, what do i have um oh yes um gotta remind myself what i have lined up next for you guys this is from the current cd another little song check this out um Featuring Clydeen and Johnny.
<clears throat> I like the way to do it was the name of the title uh, from the current album from uh, Caught in the Groove and um, the next song I want to play for you tonight is one there uh, that was a challenge because I forgot I wrote that song uh, it's actually from the City Groove album I'm gonna have to maybe one of these weeks gonna do a special deep dive into City Groove I haven't played much from that record and this song I have not played it since uh, I recorded it for for the album which probably 10 years ago so um, again I forgot who requested it but I always welcome the challenge and I did find the track sometimes I can't you know find a backing track for it um, but in this case I did and I hope I'll, I'll get it right this is called Up and Away from City Groove <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> so it was Linda, hey, who requested the song. Thank you very much. Um, I totally, I have not listened to the song or, or, or touched it since I recorded, uh, which is quite a while ago. Uh, at least 10 years of 12 years ago, I forgot. Uh, so, uh, uh, man, it's going to be... Um, I, uh, I always enjoyed the having to dive back into these old tracks. Um, you know, by now I have about 150 songs that I wrote and that are out on records. And uh, not everything I, I can play every time. So sometimes I forget about some songs that, you know, um, didn't make the, the, the big radio hit. But it was still, I mean, this is a very cool groove. It could have very well been on radio. So there's always more stuff on an album. That's why I always urge people to get the whole record, not, ju not just download one song. Cheers. Mm. This is a very fine bottle of wine. One of my clients is a winemaker. And um, I got this, um, it's a 2005 Hunt Winery Thriller. Oh, absolutely delicious. It's not a wine that you want to drink if you're thirsty. It's something great to, you know, savor a little sip at a time, ah, but it is very good, I must say. Um, so anyways, what else is up? So main thing is, remember the grape cup. This is the first thing we're going to do this coming week. So I hope uh, if you are in Southern California, um, come out to this show. Um, again, whenever it's a new place, it takes extra effort to bring people out and, and, and you know, make it happen. So uh, I hope you can make the effort, come out and support, come out, get tickets for the show. It's going to be killer. We're going to have a lot of fun. We have uh, the artist Tomoka, who is a sax player from Jazz and Pink. Wonderful player, beautiful lady, and she's going to open up for us. So it's going to be a good evening, and I'm guaranteed you're going to have some fun if you can make it. Uh, and for all my people in the Cincinnati area, I hope you'd come to the Ludlow Garage. Similar situation. I haven't played there before, so I really need to push and make sure um, that uh, you know we bring bring out a nice crowd. Um, I want to slow it down a little bit with a song I haven't played in a while. Um, I don't know why, because I don't know. I've played it so often. It was one of my favorite songs for a long time, and. Um, so, but now um, I haven't played it because it's so much new music. And the biggest thing is that I have right now in my head, it's all about the new album. And now I'm getting into, when I, when I work on a new record, I'm getting into a zone uh, where it's hard for me to focus on anything else. Um, so, it, it, you know, sometimes I, I have songs that I play for a while and then I don't touch them for a minute. So the next two songs are like that, the stuff that I played uh, quite a bit, and then I haven't played them in quite a while. Uh, but uh, this one is a nice one. It's from the Alley Cat CD, and uh, it's called uh, Call of the Sirens.
<laughs> Call of the Sirens, you guys. It's fun to get back into these other songs I haven't played in a while. Um, man. Uh, so many songs, a little time to do. So I appreciate actually the opportunity. And, and I want to give you a big thank you to you guys for tuning in every week. Uh, please tell some friends, please, uh, you know, keep coming back. Um, if I'm not on the road and since I'm in the studio right now working on the record, I'll be here for a few more weeks. We're going to do this every Saturday. Um, if you have the means, put some money in the tip jar. It's down here. Uh, it's also in the uh, description above. Um, always helps out to keep these things going. Um, and um but the main thing for me is like i like to basically be out there every week and, and play for you guys so uh um, for an artist it's always great to have an audience you know even though it's kind of mute uh the difference is very obvious now that we're doing some live concerts back when you have actually a crowd in front of you it's always a lot more fun um but I love you guys for, with the comments and, and, and all that. So it gives me some kind of a feedback, you know. You get used to this format. Um, so I'm grateful that, that this is possible today. And, uh, you know, how else uh, would I bring spent my Saturdays? Either working or doing this. <laughs> no, I really, I really love you guys for, for tuning in every week and, and uh, appreciate it. Um, so, um, as I said, so... This Friday is Ventura, then a CD release party. The new album is going to be out in July, July 9th, Spaghettini. They don't, the tickets are not up for sale yet, probably next week or so. Get them early because it's going to be a big one. Um, and uh, Ludlow Garage in Cincinnati is June 2nd. Uh, in between, I'll be in Europe. I've got to play the, the Portugal Jazz Festival and i got to finish this record. So, uh, a lot on my plate right now, um, but it's all fun stuff, and um, I'm glad you guys can be part of it. If you haven't joined the, uh, the fan club, please do, uh, because when the new record's coming out, all the fan club members get first dips. Uh, you know, they get the numbered autographed copies, um, and uh, so it's at nilsguitar.com, you see it up there, and, and right there you see the sign-up uh, little sign up form uh, that gets you into the fan club and uh, gets you all the little perks and uh, and you know discounts and all that kind of stuff so if you haven't signed up it please do it uh, the main thing is it's asking for your uh, city and zip code so whenever playing near you it will let you know and uh, you know uh, we'll, you'll send a message hey, and else is playing close by and so on hope you can make it then so I have one more song for you guys um, and then we do a little Q&A so if you have any questions save them for after the song and I'll be happy to answer them um, this one is from the ready to play CD now this cover was was a very tricky one to do we had to, I had to practice about like two days to get this just right um, of course I'm just kidding there were people on stands holding the guitar but it looks amazing I thought <laughs> here is uh, ready to play from up uh, from the ready to play album
Thank you so much. Yes, I just read this. Um, I must have misspoken. It's June, June 4th is Cincinnati. Yes, it's on the poster. Trust the poster. Don't say, don't trust what I say. I must misspeak, but uh, uh, yeah, it is June 4th. It's a Saturday, so that might give it away. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, I want to uh, wish you guys a wonderful weekend. Uh, I want you guys, you know, have a relaxed Sunday, and um, and uh, you know, enjoy yourselves. <clears throat> Let's try to keep cool heads. It's a lot of bad things are going on in the world. Um, so, some questions. What's my favorite non-jazz tune? Um, God, it's probably. Uh, um, what's it called? Chaka Khan, uh, some Chaka Khan stuff. Uh, um, uh, I'm on the right track, but the wrong direction. Something from the old Rufus album. Um, I'm a bit of a gearhead. If you're still using real amps to record, are you using modeling software? I'm using mostly real amps. Once in a while, I use a modeling amp um, on the one song or the other, uh, but most of the time, I use real amps. I really have some nice amps and can beat that tone um, you know but the modeling stuff got really really good it's basically when you plug in your guitar directly into a board and and, and the software creates the sound of an amp and a speaker and they've gotten a lot better uh, what you're hearing right now is modeled I'm, I'm not micing my amps up for for the show here so uh, you see it's a it's a pretty decent tone um, but you know for the record I always like oh my mouse crashed uh, for the record, I always like to go and, and um <laughs> can you make catnip too? Uh, God, now I just I got <laughs> catnip too. Well, you got to think about what that would be like. I got to talk to my cat about that and see how she feels. Um, man, thank you guys. Um, I have not um, have anything lined up in New York City. Uh, I hope that will change. My, my, my agent is working on getting some bookings, so let's hope so. I'm not doing my own booking, so I have an agent doing that for me, so hopefully she can book me somewhere in the upper northeast uh, uh, corner of this country. When I produce a new record, what inspires me? Um, first of all, have you done any work with Bonnie James? No. That's a simple answer. What inspires me a lot, uh, it, it's different. It's like I, I get in a mode and I think I just sit down on a piano. Sometimes it's a sound. 
sometimes it's a groove, sometimes I just come up with something on the guitar and, and I just uh, uh, go with it. I kind of get into a zone where I keep writing and, um, and write that. Now th that's the writing process. The actual production I see different. Once I wrote the song, then it's about production. And the trick is there always to maintain that initial feeling that you had um, when you uh, when you wrote the song, you know, because sometimes you add other musicians, other stuff, it gets lost, or it not get lost, but it gets it changes. And I always make um, I'm actually going to probably do a video series about the whole process. Um, I, I keep old uh, uh, reference mixes of when I first wrote the song just to remind myself what was the essence of the song. And sometimes, sometimes I discard it because it just got way better. Uh, and they usually do get better, but, but sometimes you lose some of that, what was it that made that song, you know, got me so excited about writing it. And, and you want to always make sure that you keep that in there. As far as possible titles, it might be uh, Cool Shades might be a, a title because one of the songs I'm going to do is, is Cool Shades. It's a song I wrote several years ago for somebody else and I'm going to do a version of it myself. Um, God, now I, the, the things are coming by so fast. Excuse me. This mouse fell down so I cannot stop the flow of questions as fast as they're coming up. you got to bear with me, maybe post the question again because until I get this mouse fixed I cannot scroll back up. Uh, this thing is just uh, doesn't. Okay, so oh, we're back. Okay, now we're back. Now we go. Uh, have I been in touch with Tim and uh, and and Steve? No, I haven't. Um, no, we have been. We have. Uh, we've played uh, Seabreeze last year. So that, but that's the last time I talked to them. Uh, Everybody, all of us are very busy. We're doing this uh, um, big festival band, uh, guitar, G-Force. But in between, everybody has their own career, you know. So, uh, and I got so busy with mine. Uh, but um, I'm sure we'll come, we'll come back together and do another show. Um, I always think about coming to the Berks Fest, but the guy still hasn't hired me. So if you go into Berg's, put it in his ear. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> all right. Hey guys, um, I'm gonna have dinner and, and finish my, my uh, really sweet little bottle of wine. Um, probably not the whole bottle, I saved it. But um, thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you next week. If you haven't joined the, the, the fan club, please do. Uh, especially with the new CD coming out, there's going to be a lot of perks. And then don't forget about the CD release party on July 9th, this Friday in Ventura, and June 4th, let me get that right, uh, in Cincinnati. Um, there's other shows in between. I'm, I'm, I'm going to Europe to, to a big festival in Portugal. Um, but uh, uh, not everybody's going to fly all that far, but um, if you're so inclined, it's called the Algarve Jazz Festival, uh, Jazz Funk and Soul Festival, and uh, it's, it's a wonderful event with a lot of great artists. Um, I hope to see you next week. Take care. Until then, bye.